Hello everyone, I am Arvon Hota. Today we are going to talk about common mode voltage in power inverters. So what is common mode voltage? So uh, let's uh, take an example of a power converter which is shown here as you can see and it has n number of input uh, terminals and n number of output terminals and uh, the input terminal ter input terminal voltage is a vi1 vi2 like that vim up to vim and the output terminal voltage is a v01 vo2 von like that so uh, the common mode voltage or the cmv at input side is uh, summation of all the input terminal voltages divided by the number of terminals that is m and output side cmv actually the uh, number of uh, terminals will be in the uh, denominator and numerator it will be summation of all the output voltages that we can see from here 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 like that all of them we will add them and divide it so this is what it is common mode voltage so uh, in a three phase inverter if we want to see or a, sing a single phase inverter how common mode voltage will come is let's say this terminal is point n which is shown here and the three terminals three output terminals are a b and c so the voltages are VAN which is here, VBN and VCN. If we add three of them, summation of them and divided by three will be the output terminal, output common mode voltage that is CMV, CMV output. Same way in uh, single phase inverters, there is A and B. These are the output terminals and uh, this is the Z, this is the uh, the, the, is, this is a common point between these two common points the voltage will be az and vbz so it will be az plus vbz by 2 so this is cmp output so in single phase inverter you can see there are only two output terminals and in three phase you can see there are three output terminals one two three so it should be divided by three and you will add all the output terminal voltages so what are the problems of common mode voltage? So uh, an important, a very actually important problem which is uh, circulating current which we will talk about later. And electromagnetic interference actually this is due to high frequency common mode voltage. When there is very high frequency oscillations in common mode voltage, let's say your common mode voltage is like this. So it will not cause any problem. But if your common mode voltage is oscillating like this, oscillations are happening, high frequency oscillations. So this will create the issue. And uh, it can, this actually circulating current may also create issues like saturation of magnetics. There we are, here we have shown uh, actually a three phase inverter. And uh, usually a three phase inverter, the source side is grounded sometimes it's grounded and so the common mode voltage will appear between this 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 point and this ground point so uh, common mode voltage is also defined in three phase inverter the voltage between the source neutral point and the load neutral point source neutral and load neutral between these two points, the voltage will be called as common mode voltage. When these uh, the uh, actually the loads or the branches in these three phase system they are balanced. Like uh, all this, you can say you can see R A all these are R S and this is L S. All these values are equal, so it will work like that. It, it should be a balanced load. So the circulating current in uh, actually due to common mode voltage. Okay, we have shown an example of motor, but this actually uh, 
comprises or consists all the ex all the circulating currents that can happen in a three phase uh, or, or any inverter system due to common port voltage so as we can see there are various paths that are shown using various colors okay so uh, so common mode voltage uh, how they are actually uh, how common mode voltage is allowing these currents to flow is uh, there is a parasitic capacitance formed between the actually this inverter and the body of this uh, body of the inverter means the casing of the inverter and usually the casing is grounded via a resist via a actually resistance or something which is shown here here you can see this is shown here this is where it is shown that it is grounded and uh, because of common mode voltage there is a voltage applied in this capacitor and there is a current flowing because of that means if this this neutral point is actually the in and there, there is a ground that is G here. So this VNG, which is also the common mode voltage, because of this VNG, there, there will be circulating current like this. Okay, and this circulating current also actually can uh, uh, take various paths, like you can see this path it can take, which con which consists the load, and uh, it can also take. Uh, actually uh, this path means actually uh, this considers the power grid and the inverter because if you can see in this circuit there is a rectifier here and there is a diesel capacitor after that there is an inverter so in this case it, it will also uh, actually take the power grid to uh, in, into his path because the grid is also grounded at this side and the machines machines this body this body is also grounded via by an impedance which is shown here you can see this thing is also actually shown here so these are the various paths for these currents to flow so because of that there are several issues that is faced in uh, in uh, this kind of system a major issue is, issue is bearing failure bearing failure and sometimes this will lead to motor failure so actually common mode voltage is a serious issue in case of motor drive systems uh, when we actually talk about the solar grid integrated solar PPV system we know that the grids, uh, grids uh, grid is actually one terminal of the grid is actually ground so uh, and there is some parasitic capacitance are formed between the uh, between the negative terminal of the solar pv and the ground because in case of a solar pv the casing is usually grounded for safety purposes and that casing and that uh, solar pv there there are some um, uh, stray capacitances are formed which is uh, parasitic capacitance so we can say so this is what is this is this is what is called cp or c parasitic capacitances so actually what happens between the ground and this point there is a voltage exist which we, which is actually you can say this point is o then it is b o g this actually influence from common mode voltage. So if there is high frequency oscillation in CMV, there will be high frequency oscillation in VOG which is here and there will be a current flow which is shown like this. You can see that the leakage current is flowing like this. Means from the grid to it will flow to this, this path it will take and it will uh, actually be injected in, into the grid and uh, it will create several issues like grid current distortion will happen because of this leak leakage current another thing that will happen that safety issues safety issues means if this uh, solar pv is not properly grounded what will happen if someone touches it what will happen he will get he or she will get a shock so these are the problems of common mode voltage. 
so how to mitigate common mode voltage one one approach is using a filter uh, what you can see here is a common mode filter uh, this part is the filter and what is what is done here is this point is connected to the dc bus neutral we know that the common mode voltage is the voltage between the uh, grid uh, source neutral uh, source neutral point which is o and the load neutral point which which is formed here like if you can see that there are three impedances inside the motor and it has a, a actually a new neutral point which was shown like this three voltage sources which has a neutral point and three impedances which are e equal value so what happens the current takes a path and uh, the common mode current or the leakage current actually flows in this path so it never flows via the motor so this common mode filter arrests this current and the motor is completely safe from this current so this is uh, this is an approach of using a common mode filter um, the working principle is let's say uh, if you have a source of this is cmv what you, uh, and after that there, there is let's say this load which is flowing via this load by if you connect if you short circuit it here like this and there, there, there are some stray actually uh, inductor impedances are there so common mode voltage the current will flow like this and the uh, voltage across the load the cmv will across the load will become zero because we have pro provided a very low impedance path for the cmp using a filter so this is how the load is protected using a filter the next comes uh, next comes common mode voltage elimination using a pwm strategy cmp elimination using pwm so uh, to learn that we have to uh, revise multi level space vector modulation this is svm is short form for space vector modulation we will we will quickly revise the space vector modulation and then we will quickly go to common mode voltage elimination using pulse width modulation in three phase systems so let's actually see a basic uh, basic half grid structure which is just one phase of a basic two level input so this is a voltage source uh, or a capacitor charged into vdc voltage and let's uh, term this terminal as one denote this terminal with one and denote this terminal with zero this switch this switch is s if s is connected to terminal one va0 this point is a this point is zero va0 value will be vdc and if s if this switch is connected to this terminal then va0 value will be zero so actually like this there are three phases so the voltages can be for one phase it is vdc and zero so we will we will call this one and zero because vdc can be anything we will just take vdc common it it has two levels one and zero it either connects to one or connects to zero so now if it has three phases a b c it can be everything can be one or zero one or zero one or zero it can have the various actually combinations like 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 or 1 1 1 so how they are plotted is you take three axis the this this and this uh, this is a axis this is b axis or c axis in a axis uh, let's say you want to plot 1 1 0 how will you plot is you go one to this side that is one then it is one one zero so wh what will you do this is a this is b this is c so for b axis you also go one now actually for c axis zero so you stay here so you will get to one one zero now if, if it is one 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 so you go to a axis for one then you go to b axis for one then actually parallel to c axis you have to go to one so you will 
go here so you see that you have come to 1 1 1 so this is how it works uh, for two level inverter as you can see there are uh, not two level this is three level three level structure so this switch s can be connected to terminal 2 it can also be that can be connected to terminal 1 or terminal 0 uh, so actually now a b c it can have 210 210 210 three levels so uh, so using these various combinations can be formed and uh, the philosophy is same how do you do this you take one axis that is a this is you know 120 degree phase shifted so this is b and this is another 120 degree phase shifted uh, from b that is c axis so if you have to plot let's say 210 what will you do uh, in a axis this is a b c a b c is 2 1 0 so in a axis you go first 2 so that here you come it is 1 here you have come it is 2 a axis you have come 2 then parallel to b axis you go 1 from this point so parallel to b axis you have gone 1 you have come here now c axis you don't go have to anywhere so you stay here so you have come to 2 1 0 similarly if you want to go let's say uh, 1 0 1 how will you reach so a axis you will go up to 1 and b axis you will go up to 0 so actually what we are talking about is going to 1 0 1 so first let's go from uh, this point to we will go 1 parallel to a axis then for b axis that is 0 so we will not go anywhere we will uh, stay here and for c axis we will go to parallel to c axis we will go 1 so c axis is this so we parallel go to here so we will reach 1 0 so this is how actually it is done how we uh, actually plot the various points uh, and their locations uh, in this uh, two dimensional coordinate geometry so this is a b c and you can say that this is the a is the pore voltage index for phase a b is pore voltage index of phase b and uh, c is pore voltage in index of phase c so uh, let's say 4 to 0 how to plot 4 to 0 you actually come here at 4 then uh, parallel to b axis you go to at 2 then uh, you stay here so this will be your 4 to 0 if actually you have to plot let's say 6 0 2 so you go to uh, 5 then 6 is not so i will draw here 6 then for b axis you will not go anywhere and this is 2 so from parallel you have to go so this is your 6 0 2 6 0 2 so how, uh, this is how you plot here so CMB means uh, here you can see uh, this is 602 means actually the output voltage is 6 VDC for phase A, pole voltage of phase A and for uh, B pole voltage is 0 and for C pole voltage is 2 VDC. So this is actually VAN, this is VBN, this is VCN. So, VAB plus v, VAN plus VBN plus VCN by 3 will become actually if you see A plus B plus C by 3 into VDC that means 6 plus 0 plus 2 by 3 into VDC. So, actually basically it depends on A plus B plus C. Basically CMB varies as A plus B plus C. This is what you need to actually remember. Uh, other things are just constant. So, it varies like this a plus b plus c so the idea is a, if a plus b plus c is constant your cmd will be constant so uh, let's look at this diagram uh, this is common mode voltage mitigation in two level inverter using pwm strategy so how it can be done is uh, what is the common mode voltage in this vector you can see it is 100 right if you add them 1 plus 0 plus 0 as we have learned in previous slide that is a plus b plus c so let's call it cmb index cmb index 
is a plus b plus c so cmp index for this point is 1 so what is cmp index for this point is 1 plus 1 plus 0 cmp index is 2 cmp cmp index for this point is 0 plus 1 plus 0 that is again 1 again for this point will be 2 this point 1 this point 2 and this point 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0 and 1 1 1 it is actually 3 so uh, how to actually reduce common mode voltage so one way is you take only these three vectors and make a triangle like this means 1 1 1 you only take which is shown here as you can see means same index is 1 1 1 so when you change from here to here if you come here to here what will happen that the transition in CMB is constant. If you come here to here, transition in CMB is constant. But in conventional space vector modulation, when you take only one sector, which is actually it is drawn here, you if you see this, uh, this point CMB index is 1, here it is 2, here it is 0 and 3. So your CMB varies from 0, 1, 2, 3 in one switching cycle. Okay, so high variation in CMB. So if you take only this, your CMB is constant at 1. CMB index is constant, means CMB will also be constant. And actually, another way to do it actually is do not use any zero vector. You use this vector. You use this sector like this. So here CMB index is 1, here CMB index is 2, here CMB index is 1. So what will happen? Your CMB transition will happen only between 1 and 2. Here it was happening 0 to 1, 1 to 2 to 3. Like this it, it was happening, but here, here it will happen 1 to 2. So it, it will be less. Here it, it will be much higher, like 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, then it will go to 3, maybe then again you 2, 1, 0, like this it will happen. But when you use, uh, when it, it, it will interchange between only 1 and 2, what will happen? You will see this kind of transition between 1 and 2 only. So that kind of advantage you will get. So this kind of PWM is called near state PWM. And uh, if you use, uh, actually uh, this is near state PWM. Another PWM is active zero state PWM. Uh, where if you, uh, in, in near state PWM, you can see you can only operate actually in this shaded portion. If you come actually in this portion, you, uh, there are no sectors. So what, so what you do, this zero vector means when you actually use this configuration or this sector, instead of this zero vector, you, you take this vector and this vector and you implement zero vector using these two vectors, these two active vectors. See, all the outside vectors are called active vectors. So you use... Uh, this vector and this vector and you implement the, the voltage which is uh, the vector which is in between which is uh, uh, that's why it is called active zero state means zero vector is implemented using two active vectors so common mode voltage in, in is mitigation using a four leg inverter uh, means instead of three leg now you have added one extra leg so common mode voltage becomes a plus b plus c plus d by four this d is because of the addition of the fourth leg uh, previously it was only a plus b plus c by three into vdc by three right now it has become a plus b plus c plus d by four into vdc and uh, the space vector hexagon remains same because fourth leg in fourth leg there is no load act, uh, no load is connected as you can see load is only connected to a b and c this uh, fourth leg uh, there there are no legs uh, no, no actually load the a b and c has only all the load so uh, how, how this way how using this you can uh, mitigate cmv is uh, you know now the uh, cmv index for this Previously it was 1 uh, and this, this was 2, this was 1, 2, 1, 2 like this. Now addition of this extra term, you can now control the CMV index while actually a 
doing space vector modulation means if this is 1 making d equal to 1 you, you, you can make this 2 if, if you want and if this is 2 making d equal to 0 in, in this point you, you can keep it at 2 so when you transition from this point to this point the cmv index will remain at 2 always at 2 because this d you can manipulate as you want 0 and 1 but uh, but the uh, but this a b c needs to be man manipulated at re depending upon your space vector modulation but d you have complete freedom and you can manipulate it in such a way that your cmv stays constant so here you can make it to here you can make it to so all the outside vectors you can all of them you can make it to and you do not use the zero z zero vector you use active zero state pwm which was used before means you use any two vectors to implement the zero vector like you use this vector and this vector if your zero vector time is t0 you use t0 by 2 and t0 by 2 divide t0 in t0 by 2 t0 by 2 you use this vector and this vector so it will work as a zero vector because zero is in between these two vectors similarly you can use this and this also this and this also it depends on which sector you are if you are in this sector you try to use this and this vector or this and this vector do not use this and this when you are in this sector in sector one like that yeah, you, you can do so this is how you can use uh, do CMV mitigation using four leg inverter so how you can uh, do CMB mitigation using a multi-level inverter is uh, there are certain vectors where CMB will be constant for you. If, if you see uh, this space vector hexagon, you can see there are certain vectors which is 2, 1, 0. CMB index is 3. If you take 1, 2, 0, the CMB index is 3. If you take 0, 2, 1, CMB index is 3. And if you take 1, 1, 1 you have uh, two other options for 0, 2, 2, 2 and 0, 0. If you take 1, 1, 1, you will have 3. So, all this point you will see that your CMP index will have, will become only 3. So, if you only use these vectors, your CMP, CMP will be absolutely constant without using any extra uh, leg. So, this is actually called 0 common mode voltage space vector modulation or ZCMP SVM. The where you can see ZCMP SVM means zero common mode voltage space vector modulation and you can use it on three level inverter and you can see it, it becomes an inver inverted hexagon and it becomes like a two level hexagon. So a three level inverter becomes like a two level inverter that is the actually drawback uh, to a, a when you eliminate common mode voltage like this and you can see the range of linear modulation index also reduces because the now maximum circle that can be inscribed is like this where here you can inscribe like this so there is a reduction so that is what i have shown here that when you use this kind of structure here you can see this is how linear modulus index is going to be for inverted hexagon or zcmv spm so this is for zcmv spm but this is your conventional SVM. Now, interestingly, if you see for sin PWM, sin PWM also, the if you sin PWM, if you implement using space vector, the trajectory will be like this, sin PWM. So, uh, so what is interesting here is for any sin, uh, if you use a three sin waves, if you see sin omega t plus sin omega t plus 2 pi by 3 plus sin omega t minus 2 pi by 3, multiplied by ma obviously that is amplitude modulation index if you add them for any instant it becomes zero so if your core voltage is also uh, actually um, core voltage is like this sin omega t sin omega t plus 2 pi by 3 sin omega t minus 2 pi by 3 they that actually becomes zero for uh, sin pw so in, in sin pw in average sense common mode voltage will be zero Although there, there, there will be certain transition you will be able to see, but in average sense it will be zero. Means if you average it for a switching cycle, let's say for a switching cycle, this is this is the transition. So in this cycle, your CMV will be zero, the average actually. Uh, now uh, actually, but when you use 
space vector modulation you uh, actually add a common mode signal to all the phases so uh, the common mode voltage now actually will become 3 into the cms that common mode signal that we add to all the phase voltage phase voltages and you, you will see that now if you actually take an average in every switching cycle it will not be zero it, it will have some finite value and it, it will change like this 3 cms uh, so this is uh, for a 5 level inverter how will it happen if there are if you see 5 terminals 0 1 2 3 4 in a 5 level inverter you know there can be 5 terminals like this 4 capacitors or 4 uh, DC sources and this is a 5 level inverter shown here so uh, how will you use a, a ZCMB SBM kind of strategy here is shown in the next slide you can see that uh, if you use 4 to 0 so it will become the addition will become 6 if you use 4 1 1 addition is 6 3 2 1 addition is 6 2 2 2 addition is 6 means 3 plus 2 plus 1 equal to 6 4 plus 2 plus 0 is 6 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6 everywhere it is 6 so a 5 level in inverter becomes like a 3 level inverter the, here actually this hexagon this hexagon so, so the complete 5 level 5 level and this is in bold bold lines it is a 3 level hexagon so you can see a 5 level inverter becomes a 3 level inverter and obviously with the uh, characteristics of inverted hexagon when you apply a ZCM SBM, ZCM SBM strategy in 5 level in, in inverter and it is reduced to 3 level. So these are the vectors 402, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 2, 1, 1, 4, 3, 3, 0. This is how you, you can use it and make it uh completely common mode voltage constant and if you can see that uh, the linear modulus index range also reduces like this this becomes the new range whereas previously it was the previous range so this is how it reduces like this so this is the new range previously it was the uh, it was a previous range so there is another topology which can also uh, this is also this is this, this operates in three level uh, using ZCM VSVM these, these are some actually results that we have shown that you can see this is the common mode voltage when we are applying ZCM VSVM it is completely you can see it is constant and this is the current and this is the voltage and this is the various terminal voltages from this point this is PN from PN various terminal points the voltage is shown here you can see they are also absolutely constant so if you use a PV voltage source and if there, there is a parasitic capacitance formed from every source like this like this so what will happen the leakage current flow from everywhere will, will, will be zero this is what it means because the terminal voltage is uh, as you can see this 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 and this all are totally zero thank you thank you very much